How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. So on today's video, we're gonna be doing a differential service on uh, my TLX Type S. This will also apply to a uh, base model as well as the A-Spec and um, pretty much all accurate. Um, but yeah, let's just go over here real quick. And here we have the diff. Uh, I'm gonna be using the all drive fluid from Acura, but you could also use dual pump system fluid from Honda. Uh, we're at a weird time in the world right now and actually we uh, had a shortage and uh, the dip fluid uh, for us was on back order. So we actually were using uh, the Acura stuff, but it's exactly the same thing. So either dual pump or all drive fluid from Acura, the dual pump being from Honda. So this is gonna be your fill plug right over here. And this is gonna be your drain plug. I'm gonna take you back over there real quick just to show you all the stuff you're gonna be needing. All right guys, essentially this is everything you're gonna need along with something to fill it. I'm gonna be using this guy because this is what we have here at work, but you can use a hand pump of some sort. Obviously you also need a drain pan uh, to catch the fluid. I'm gonna be putting in here because I wanna take a real close look at it. And uh, Acura says it takes about 1.8 quarts. So this has, uh, it's labeled over here. So I'm gonna go see exactly how much it takes because unfortunately this thing, this uh, tank right here, the, the gauge is broken, so I'm not sure exactly how much I'm gonna be putting in it, but we're gonna find out today. Uh, that's why I have an extra quart right over here. Uh, sometimes when it runs low, it shoots out air instead of um, oil. Anyways, uh, so you need two quarts of a dual pump or all wheel drive fluid, dual pump being a Honda stuff, this being the Acura stuff. Here is the part number right over there, 08200-907 Apple. Um, also need a long, uh, 3H drive ratchet to crack them loose and the torque wrench to get torque to 35 uh, pound feet of torque. Uh, if you don't have a torque wrench, that's fine. Just make sure you use a shorter ratchet to tighten it because they do strip easy. Uh, the case is uh, made out of aluminum. Um, also, these are your two crush washers. Make sure you replace them every time. Don't cheap out on this. Um, this is the part numbers for both crush washers. Uh, this is the same as an automatic trans, um, but this is the, the drain part number that you need and this will be the fill. So uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. So uh, just a couple of note guys, before we get started here, uh, Acura's recommending the first uh, service to be that 7,500. If you do spirited driving, mountainous driving, or a lot of city driving, or obviously if you're launching a car uh, hard and driving it pretty heavily, uh, this would uh, apply to you as well, which is uh, my case. My car has about 8,200 miles or so, so I'm a little bit overdue, you know, life gets crazy. But anyways, uh, I'm gonna be doing it uh, 7,500 miles going forward in my case, because I do drive a car hard. So uh, Acura, after the first initial 7,500 mile service, is recommending you do it every 15,000 miles. Uh, like I said, once again, I'm gonna be doing mine every 7,500 miles or so because I do drive extremely hard. I launch it a lot of times and um, you know, I just think it's worth uh, changing more frequently, but you're pleased or you're welcome to do as uh, you please or as your driving conditions pertain uh, to you. So um, once again, this is the fill plug right over here. The drain plug is right over here. As you can see it, I'm gonna use my ratchet real quick. Just give it a good, uh, knock and it'll break uh, right loose. Just pull the bucket here a little bit and adjust the camera for you guys. So you wanna be careful with this, take it out nice and easy. Uh, it's probably gonna splatter a lot. I'm gonna get my bucket. Like I said, I'm gonna try to catch that fluid real quick. All right, here we go. As you can see, there is some build up right over here on a magnet, which uh, nothing looks abnormal. So that is great news. Uh, you don't want to see uh, obviously any big chunks or anything like that. So that drains pretty quickly. If uh, you're having a hard time uh, draining it for some reason, you could crack uh, the fill uh, drain plug loose to kind of speed up the process or if you're in a hurry of some sort but uh, we have time. All right. All right, it's still draining, but this is uh, the majority of it. So you have about just under one and a half liters or so. 
So a liter to quart is basically one for one, just about. Uh, and like I said, you don't really need to know the exact amount because you're gonna be filling this through here uh, until it comes out. That's how you know it's full. Uh, but I just wanted to get some sort of a measurement for you guys. So we're about at a, just under one and a half quarts or so. And you can see that's pretty tight on there as well. I'm gonna break this loose. And nothing's gonna come out of here right now because the diff is uh, nearly empty. So there's no magnet on this one right here. It's just a plug, literally. And this uses the bigger crush washer and the drain uh, plug uses uh, the smaller one. All right, so now we have new crush washers on both of them. Right over here. You can simply, uh, obviously, clean the, the magnet. All right, obviously just screw it on, hand tight for now. Uh, and we'll torque both of them uh, at the end once uh, it is filled. So at this point, uh, you'd be using your hand pump or whatever uh, device you want to, um, you know, top off the fluid with. All right, so I had to make a small adjustment over here. I had to add a hose to uh, the end of my uh, filler uh, tank here because of the tight space in between the diff and the subframe. But um, either way, now they do sell a special tool. It is pretty pricey. I don't uh, recommend you guys buying it. You know, obviously if you work at a dealer, you'll have one, but if not, then I would not recommend buying it just uh, for that. And right, now you just start filling it slowly. Until it comes out. Move the camera a little bit closer for you guys. And you're just gonna keep filling it until you see a decent amount of trail coming down. And we see our little trail right there. Add a little bit more just for good measure. And now you're essentially gonna remove your hose and just let the rest trickle out. Sometimes it could be more than you expected, so just be careful. Take it out slowly. All right, and there you go. You're gonna wanna try let that trickle down a little bit till it's almost uh, you know, a small stream or a small uh, drip. All right, guys, so now you see we have a small drip and uh, that's basically what you wanna see. We're gonna go ahead and put the the fill plug back in. And this is uh, when you would either be torquing it or using your small ratchet to uh, tighten this. Once again, you do not want to over tighten this. And that's it, it's torqued. Give it a second click for good measure. That's it. So yeah guys, uh, like I said, I'm gonna be doing uh, mine every 7,500 miles or so. Uh, Acura's recommending every 15,000, even with a uh, spare to driving. So uh, you be the judge of that. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up, obviously with some brake clean or something along those lines. Um, I'm also gonna be making a video on all the other fluid, uh, my recommendations uh, to uh, my style of driving and uh, what I think uh, you should be doing as well uh, with this car. You'll wanna you know, cheap out on maintenance and uh, pay the price down the road. Uh, these, uh, the diff, the, the front diff, the, um, the trans, all that stuff gets a decent amount of abuse. So you wanna make sure you stay on top of it. The front diff isn't as critical. There's not as many moving parts. Uh, there's a lot going on in the rear diff over here. So a lot of, uh, you know, stuff gets worn out pretty quickly, starts to deteriorate uh, if you don't stay on top of the fluids. Uh, with that being said guys thanks for watching please uh, like comment subscribe and we're gonna have a lot more tlx uh, content coming soon uh we know that the k tuner is under beta testing for some guys out there so hopefully there's something available to the public uh real soon uh, i got springs coming for the car i got wheels waiting to go on the car and i have a uh, front rear uh, floating rotors as well coming for the car so uh thanks for watching and uh, stay safe out there